Alrighty, greetings and salutations everybody. I am going to teach you how to make uh, something like this. Uh, like this is from my Craigslist ad. How, you know, uh, basically what I do for my cash buyers uh, list is I, I typically, and I get one lead a day by doing this, so which is, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can probably get more. Uh, I'm sure there are other methods, but I use this method not just for my cash buyers. I use this method to make all types of stuff, uh, photos from everything. I'm going to teach you about a little uh, tool called Jing. You can see this little thing here. It's called Jing, and you can Google it, J-I-N-G. And uh, right now I'm using Google, this isn't Sheets, this is Google Slides, which I think is just like PowerPoint. So I didn't know any of this stuff, and I'm going to give a shout out to Joe McCall because I learned this from one of, one of his free videos. And I'm just going to put this out here because that video is like lost on the internet, his video or whatever. Maybe it's on his YouTube or something, but um, really, really useful tool. I mean, I use it so much. I, I've learned so many things from Joe McCall's little like tweaks and hacks that um, I got to give that dude a shout out. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make one of these from scratch. So let's go ahead and um, let's let's make a new situation here. And as you can see, like that's my Facebook thing, and uh, you can make cool things like this. So I'm gonna show you very easily. Um, for example, let's say I want to look at a Baltimore house, right? So let's do like Baltimore row house, right? And like let's say just this is just an example, okay? Let's say like we take this here. Oh, wait a minute. All right, that's fine. So let's say we want to use this here, right? What Jing does is you click the button, and you can trace around anywhere you want right and save this as a photo it's kind of like a like a custom little screenshot so let's say we do um row house one all right and we'll save it and we'll save it under pictures right so now we go to google sheets and um so like rather than add title we're just going to add image there's a little thing here and upload from computer and we're going to go to pictures and let's find row house. There's my row house. Okay. So here's my little row house. And now let's say we want to add some words, right? Some text. I like to use the bright green. So I think, what do we do it? Yeah, we do it like this, right? And here we'll write, um, so how we do the color text box. Okay. That's the color. So, text color will do bright green right and wait a minute we're gonna go back we're gonna go to green and we're gonna increase the font to whatever you like it doesn't matter this is just you know to show you um, get on my cash buyers list right and then here we'll put you've seen those little um, ads on Craigslist it's like rent to own four hundred dollars a month and it says like rent to own one two three blah 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 um that's probably how they do it or it's a similar thing so let's do my website here so www dot oh well we can do green again so www dot dmb property source dot com and let's increase that right let's make this like 36 let me close that out and um, all right so now that that's on here right so we have this thing so now what we're gonna do let's unclick that now we have this here right now we're gonna take Jing again and we're gonna take a photo of this new one right now it's with the text get on my cash buyers list right and let's resave this as row house one so let's row house one right we're gonna save it, and no, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, that's the one we're gonna do. So we're gonna resave it now. Whenever I wanna you know post an ad on Craigslist, and I'll put like you know you can put a ghost property ad like three bedroom one bath thirty cents on the dollar, and then when they click it, they're gonna see this photo. And then it might say like, hey, my name is Vic. I'm a local wholesaler. To see my inventory and to get on my cash buyers list, go to you know dmvpropertystores.com. Obviously, I'd probably lower this a little bit, probably like here, because it'd be better visible. Or I can still probably do that. Let's see. 
Wait a minute. Ah. Come on. Let's see if we can do that here. But anyway, for the sake of the video, you, you get you get what I'm saying. So um yeah, you can write whatever you want. Um, make a ghost ad or whatever. I've used this technique to I you know let me show you guys another thing. Like if we go to dirtcheapsigns.com, right? Dirtcheapsigns.com. You can use the same thing to um, to take a photo of your bandit sign and then save a screenshot of your bandit sign and you can use it on your Facebook ads uh, and stuff like that. So if we go to my designs, like look at this. See these here? These are my, you know, like all these things that I do. And we can do you know bandit so and then we can save that and that now we have a photo basically so if I want to post that on Craigslist I can um, I can do that here so it's a nice little tool. Um, I'm sure you can think of a million different ways to use this. I've used this so many different ways, this tool here. I really hope you guys find it helpful. Let me know what you think. It's called Jing, J-I-N-G. Let's see if we can find it here. Jing, that is right there, computer program. So get it for free. And then um, Google, what is it? Google Slides. And um, let me know how this works out for you. So it's a nice little tick, tip and trick. And uh, shout out to Joe McCall. Joe McCall, you're the man. Thank you.